everybody, it's Jennifer and today I'm going to share with you my November favorites, so please keep watching. So my first favorite is these IT brushes that are exclusively sold at Ulta. And it is $58, it's the Your Beautiful Basics Airbrush 101. And this is a set of five brushes. So these brushes are really good quality. Um, this one I use as a blush or all over face powder brush. Uh, this one I use to sculpt out my cheekbones as well as you can use it for foundation. Um, this one I use to blend out my concealer under my eyes and along the bridge of my nose. This one I use for my lid, my eyelids. And the last one I use to um, smudge out my paint pots, like my MAC Paint Pot Soft Ochre or the Maybelline Color Tattoos. This is a really good brush set. If you are shopping around to invest in a good brush set or you're shopping around uh, for a gift uh, to give somebody that loves makeup, um, this is a very good set. The next thing that I got from the Ulta 20% off sale is the Lorac Pore Fashion. And this is a baked perfecting powder in the shade PF4. This is so good for blurring out the pores and imperfections and it just gives your face like this flawless airbrush finish. So try it out if you go to Ulta um, or if you shopping around on the Lorac website. I really like this powder, it's so good. Another powder that I have been enjoying that I got at the Sephora VIB sale is the limited edition Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact. And this one is in Copper Diamond. Um, I know that it's no longer available on Sephora, but you can get it in other department stores. And it's just such a beautiful, a golden highlight that I put on my cheeks. So in my October favorites as well as when I announced the uh, giveaway, I was wearing this on my cheeks and you can see from uh, low light situations how, how much the shimmer and subtleness of this shimmer brick is but at the same time it just gives your skin like this beautiful healthy glow and I just really, really enjoy it. I highly recommend it. So I, since this was a limited edition, I went on uh, Poshmark and I had credit uh, on Poshmark. So I went and bought the Shimmer Brick that is not limited edition. And this one is in beige. And that's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. And it's a lighter, shimmer brick compared to the limited edition one but it still has that subtle golden finish to the tops of my cheeks and the bridge of my nose so if you're looking at a really nice highlighter that you could wear during the daytime and nighttime i highly recommend these bobby brown shimmer bricks they are so so good another thing that i really enjoyed from the sephora vib sale was the tarte inner rim liner and this is in the shade brightener and i use this on the inner rim of my waterline to brighten my eyes and i know that there's a dupe for this it's the rimmel london scandal eyes and nude but i have to say that the high end beats the drugstore version of it because the rimmel london scandal eyes version doesn't last. By the time I'm done doing my entire face and makeup, it disappears. It's already gone. I must have extremely watery eyes, but this Tarte one is a lot more potent. It's more pigmented and it stays. It stays longer. And the palette I have been enjoying the most is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Seriously, every time I open this palette and smell it, it instantly puts me in a good mood. I have to hide this palette from myself because I'm not giving my other palettes any attention. 
because it's just such a easy to use versatile palette and if you are looking to invest in a good palette this is the one if you are looking to buy a gift for somebody special um, I recommend this palette I think that this palette is definitely top-notch and worth the money and my last favorite is this Revlon photo ready eye art and I got this one at Ulta you have to be careful when you shop around for this because it is the same exact packaging as their nail polish but this is for your eyes and uh, the reason why I picked this one in gold glitz is for the black uh, glitter part so after I apply my eyeliner I like to top this one off uh, just for a beautiful glitter finish and it applies very nicely I did wear this in my giveaway announcement video and what I did was I put on my regular gel liner as usual and then I topped it off with the black glitter and I think it's really nice just for like a special occasion if you're looking for a black glitter that is not a loose pigment and ends up all over your cheeks this is a nice alternative to uh, just put a nice thin layer across uh, your eyelid or as a liner or as an accent so check it out it's definitely worth giving it a try so that is everything that I enjoyed for the month of November and please comment down below if you are interested in seeing a haul video with what I got at the Ulta 20% off sale as well as the Sephora VIB slash friends and family sale I'll do a video on that if you are interested and uh, thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not already and thumbs up this video i definitely appreciate it so till next time happy holidays